my garden, um, and my wife's garden, Amanda. I'm Andrew. Uh, it's spring. The magnolia has just opened up in the last few days. Isn't that just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? Uh, the daffodils are flowering, and I'm in the process of uncovering my strawberries. Uh, if you come over this way with me, you can see that I've had them under this cloth all winter. Uh, for the most of the winter I had them under a double layer uh, and about three weeks ago I took the top layer off and, 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 and just went to one layer. It allows more light through and you can see the strawberries are pushing up underneath the cloth so I'm hopeful that things are looking really good under there. I'm quite excited about this. Um, this is the first year I've actually used Rime. Um, hi kitty. So Arthur Kanichiwa, who happens to be a girl. Um, very nice cat. Um, so we're going to uncover this, the strawberries and see what they look like. I'm anticipating that there'll be some dandelions and some crabgrass in there as well, but I'm hoping that things are going to look really quite, quite good uh, because the cloth a helps keep the frost off, it holds, holds the temperature a little higher than the uh, outside temperature and it also protects from the really cold winter winds. So uh, I'm really hopeful that this is going to be a good experiment and uh, that we're going to have some success. So what I do is I have these bricks that hold the remay in place. So we'll take these bricks off. Just coming over here behind the camera to remove these ones. Oh. And then the best way of storing Rime is a plank or a piece of two by four or something like that. And uh, just, just uh, wrap it up. Now, if this were a cooking show, they would say, and here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> and look at those. I am so happy. These are the best strawberries I've ever grown. My father would be proud of me. Oh, it's going to make me cry. Oh, that's, that's just uh, a wonderful, wonderful sight. I'm so looking forward to fresh strawberries and cream. Um, we've got a mixture of strawberries here. There's some ever-bearing strawberries, which I'm I've grown for the first time this this last uh, last year. I haven't actually gathered any fruit of those, and there's mixtures of others in here. So I'm hopefully going to have a nice long harvesting period. For some reason, the ones up at that end of the row didn't do as well as this end. This end's really terrific. I'm I'm so happy. Do uh, you see this here, up here? We've had some have died out. Uh, it didn't do as well. This is the straw I put in last year as a mulch to keep the berries. The reason why they're called strawberries, I guess, is they always traditionally put straw under the plants, so as the berries form, when it rains, they, they stay clean. Otherwise, if the rain hits the earth and bounces back up, the, the berries get all grimy with grit and dirt. So the, the straw helps um, keep the berries clean. Uh, and it also keeps the frost off at this time of year. Uh, and it's nice to walk on, it smells good. So, uh, what I shall do, I think, is probably move some of these that have grown in the walking area and pop them in the top of the bed where I've lost a couple of plants. I'll try that and see if that works. Because they're spreading, they, they grow by runners, strawberries. They send out a shoot and then the shoot sends down roots and they then take uh, and eventually the, 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 uh, the runner dies and you're left with a plant. That's why if you look along the edge of this bed there are little babies all the way along here where the runners have moved to uh, as far as they got last year. And let's, I'll show you one. Here, look, you see, so here's a beautiful little strawberry plant. There is a baby of one of these. Isn't this exciting? This is the best thing ever. I'm very, very happy. So, Rime. Get yourself some Rime. I um, was lucky enough, I have a very close friend called Laura Tangerini. And Laura has a farm in Millis, Massachusetts, called uh, Spring Street Farm. And she runs a CSA. And Laura is very kind. She uh, gives me all the bits of old 
the Remay that she's no longer using because they're too small for, she has a 60 acre spread, whereas I have 60 foot spread. <laughs> so uh, this has been a real godsend, I'm very happy. I like Nick, I said to, I said to Nick, he could say, hi Andrew, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he is filming, but he's not gonna put that on. Yeah, they look good. They do, they look gorgeous. I'm so pleased. I tell you, when I uncover them... We need to them, weed them, I can see. I know there's grass coming in there. Well, it's just there. easier if we grab it now yeah. before it goes crazy. But uh, I was saying to uh, the camera and to Douglas that when I uncovered them, I was close to tears. Because <laughs> my father would be proud of me. He used to what grow good strawberries blueberries? in Ireland. What about the blueberries? I'm going to move the blueberries. You see, this is this is, this is the powers that be has come has come to uh, to organise the uh, the veggie garden.